Hi, everyone. A pleasure to have you join us here tonight. College basketball is in the air, and we are right in the midst of all the action. Along with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan. It's the Georgetown Hoyas facing Villanova. There is no feeling like a packed house on a college campus. You can just feel the electricity in the air as two major colleges go head-to-head -head on the hardwood. And even though this game isn't a must-have game, it feels like a tournament game, a one-and-done type situation. Both of these programs know that a win here could be huge for them as they get ready to make a run in March. Taking a look at the Hoyas, Freak, he's in a shooting guard. Hudson is out there with Warren. And it's Trice, and it's Price, and at the small forward. It's stolen by Bryant. It's two on one. Here's Beal. That's in, coming off an assist from Bryant. Beal's got his first bucket of the night. And a really a nice one-two punch there, guys. Great defensive play and great basket in transition. Aggressive play, attacking basketball, on the attack, full throttle. I love it. Now, here's Warren. He kicks it to Freak. Off the screen. And Buck, here's the dunk. And this is why you need good defenders on the interior to contest shots. Yeah, Greg, making every shot a hard one, even the shots in close. Well, I tell you what, guys, so many great centers have come through Georgetown for a while. They were the destination for great centers going into college. You can point to any of their teams and find an NBA center on the roster. Here's Villanova. Beal, the pass to Bryant. From 12 feet out, there's the bucket. Good. Bryant's got his second bucket of the night. On defense, Villanova. Six-point game. Here's Trice. Here's Warren. And too long on the shot. Good pick, but he just couldn't make it count. Yeah, nice job of setting the screen by his teammate there. And I'm sure you appreciate it. Now, here's Bryant. Nailed from three-point land. Bryant's got seven. There's a chance he could have a big game if they don't D him up more tightly on the perimeter. Tries, dishes to Freak. to stop the drought. The rebound by Cooper. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. And Villanova takes on two more. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Well, everything's coming too easily. I mean, at some point, defensively, defensively you have to take something away. Here's the screen. Feeds it to Joseph. Low block shot on the way. Good! And now that the seal is broken, maybe their shooting will start to improve. Yeah, I don't think they really wanted to have as cold a start as they did, uh, but maybe that'll break the ice and they'll move forward in fine fashion from here. Taking a look at the Hoyas. Free in a two guard. And it's Hodges in at the four. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. And the Villanova Wildcats have had a recent surge in their program over the past decade. Since about 05, they have been a consistent presence in the tournament. Well, he's checked in for Villanova. Foster comes in for McAdoo. Freaks checked in for the Hoyas. Trice comes in for Harkless. Gaines kicks it to Foster. Dishes it to Jones. Ross on the wing. Back to Jones. Some nice ball movement by Villanova. Six to shoot. Villanova needs to get off a shot here. And it's Foster missing. Georgetown trails by three. Shot from 12. Not enough on that one as it misses. Here's Villanova. They're on an 11 to 3 run right now. Now Gaines. They grab their own miss. The shot no good. 
and the first half comes to a close. We've got a close game going on here. Villanova leads by three. And the second half of basketball is about to get underway, folks. Welcome back to this broadcast of college basketball here on 2K Sports. Guys, we had a tight game through the first half. I think we'll see more of the same coming out of the break. And it's just going to take one big run for one of these teams to establish control. If we can get hot, his team has a great chance of coming away with the victory. They've got Miller. Brian is out there with Cooper. And it's Elgowskis in at the four-man position. And for Georgetown, Freak in at shooting guard. Warren is out there with Hudson. Then there's Price, and it's Trice in at the point guard position. There's a good screen. Kicks it to Ilgowskis. Left side, Miller. On the wing, Bryant. Here's Beal. To the middle, here's Cooper. Terrific assist, a nice finish. Solid play all around. Well, they certainly didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Yeah, and, and that's important because this game may ultimately come down to which team controls the paint in crunch time. Now the dish to Warren. And there's the pass to Price. He feeds it to Trice to the paint. Freak with it. Pass to Hudson to tie. Trice passes to Freak. For the three, and good on the basket. Book it. Freak's got the game tied up here for the Hoyas. You know, so often we can forget that these players are student athletes. I mean, Freak does not have that problem. He's an amazing student off the floor and is very dedicated in the classroom. And how about Freak with a 4.0 GPA, an honor student in high school, and has carried that same work ethic to college as well as he prepares for his games. He truly embodies what it means to be a student athlete. Catching up on the changes for Georgetown. Randolph has checked in, and Harkless is subbed in for Trice. Clarkson kicks to Miller. Passes to Clarkson. Hudson against Beal. Can't hit. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. And great. We've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. Back to Miller. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Miller's got his first basket. And he is the ultimate when it comes to being a floor leader on the offensive end. Yeah, you know, he's got a little bit of Greg Anthony in him. And he has been that leader today. And I think he's done a really nice job of moving the ball and and distributing it the way it needs to be done. Yeah, well, Clark, I'm glad you referenced uh, specifically why you thought he had a little Greg Anthony. I thought you were talking about my knees, my man. <laughs> he, uh, he looked a little hobbled out there for a moment. Shot and game clock separated by five. And now the way is on the break. Randolph's shot is good. And that almost <laughs> feels like two buckets coming off the steal like it did. And especially the fact that it now ties the game. The lead was about to be stretched out, and instead, it's Becky. They set the pick. Beal dishes the more. And they're going to count the bucket and send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. No clue how he got that one to fall. And that was not a soft foul he had to get through, Greg. I mean, he had to really power that one up and in. The free throw off for more. Now the Hoy is with it, trailing by two. One thing with Freak that we know is he makes sure he gets his shots up no matter what. One way or another, he's going to get his workout in, and that's why so many are confident that he'll continue to improve. Part of it is that he has a twin sister who actually taught him how to play ball. She helped him develop his game and become the player he is today. Pretty nice to have a sibling willing to help you develop your skill set on the court. We've got Foster, and it's Jones in at the small forward position. Here's Freak, and the layup falls. Great move to get to the rim. I think they're going to take the aggressive approach down the stretch. Now 
game. Count the bucket. They got the lead despite pretty cold shooting from the field in the first half, and now they're beginning to find their groove. Heating up and, and looking to build on that lead. They can't guard us on the perimeter. Let's spread the floor and isolate up top. Spacing, fellas. Spacing. One fifty three left here in the second half of the game. They set the screen. Tries passes to Freak. To the left side wing. Pass to Hodges. From 11 feet away, Bryant with the rebound. They came close there to tying it up. Yeah, you know, and after the way they fought back into it here in the fourth, that would have been a big bucket for them. The pass to Cooper. Can't get it to go. So Georgetown will take it the other way. Free kicks to Nelson. For three, Price. Here's Hodges. That's tipped. That they'll get another chance. Tries dishes to Freak. Inside. Trice passes to Freak. The feed to Trice. Hoyas moving the ball around. And you know, coaches just love players who they can count on to give that effort defensively. And he clearly is one of those guys, Greg. You saw it right there. Nice work forcing that miss. And the foul called on Freak. That's his first foul. And some changes here for Villanova. Miller comes in for Jones. And Beal subbed in for Foster. Hudson's checked in for the Hoyas. Warren comes in for Hodges. Pass to Cooper. Out of bounds, Georgetown takes possession. Oh, that certainly could be costly. In a close one, those kinds of mistakes can really give the other team momentum. 26 seconds left to play here in the second half. Freak sets a screen for Trice. Oh, no good! Now here's Freak. He's covered by Beal. Now here's Freak to take the lead. Bullseye! So the Hoyas win it. They break the hearts of every fan in the building with a dramatic late victory. And Kevin, this is the kind of win you have to take a ton of pride in. I mean, they battled with everything they had and came through when the pressure was at its highest. For Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for joining us.